So you've seen the new QSOP100G optical transceiver modules, and you may be wondering how they connect to 100 gig CPAC modules. It's actually not that hard. Let's talk interoperability. That means two transceivers that look different can talk to each other. For most transceivers, all you need to know is that two can interoperate as long as they adhere to the same IEEE standardized interface. But for 100 gig transceivers, there's a little bit more to it. First, the IEEE interfaces. There are 100G, LR4, and SR4 transceivers in both QSCP 100G and CPAC form factor. So for example, an LR4 link with a CPAC on one end and QSCP 100G on the other end is totally fine. The same goes for SR4. There's also CWDM4 and PSM4, which are defined by MSAs as well as IEEE. But again, QSCP 100G and CPAC have both, so there shouldn't be any issues. QSCP 100G inherently supports 4x25 gig signals and easily supports the interfaces I've mentioned. But what about SR10? That's a 10x10 10 10 gig interface. CPAC can handle it, but not QSCP 100G. Let's review the main points. QSFP 100G and CPAC modules can talk to each other as long as they follow the same optical and electrical specifications. In addition to IEEE standardized 100G SR4 and LR4, there are also 100G PSM4 and CWDM4 defined by both IEEE and MSAs. CPAC supports SR10, but not QSFP 100G. So there it is. Now you understand which QSP100G and CPAC modules interoperate with each other.